Hello folks and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. This time we're checking out a quest mod that I have never tried before. This one is called Darkwood Falls. I don't know a whole ton about it. In fact, the mod page doesn't even have a ton of information about it. It says it's a fully voiced mystery mod set in a uh, kind of remote wilderness sort of town and it's pretty highly rated and I liked what I saw of it. So we're gonna give it a try. So I've got the same armor as last time, just got a backpack. But I did change up completely the types of weapons I'm bringing with me. I've been using those same weapons for so long, I figured it was time for something very different. So for starters, I've got my Proton Inversal Axe from Old World Blues for my melee weapon because I love it. Then I have the Compliance Regulator, which is a unique energy pistol that I'm not sure I've used much before. And I have the AER-14 Prototype uh, energy rifle as well. And I'm bringing along the Spurtlewood 9000, I think it's called. It's a heavy energy weapon that I haven't really used very often. I've had it for a long time. I can't remember where I got it. It's one of the unique heavy energy weapons in the game, but interested to try this out. Just in case something weird happens and I like run out of ammo, which I find unlikely, I have the MF Hyperbreeder Alpha from the Gunrunner's Arsenal because this thing is awesome. All right, with all that out of the way, the, uh, the way we start this quest is going into the Vicky and Vance Casino here in Prim, and we gotta find a mystery man in the back of the casino, so. Oh. Gotta be him. Nice suit, buddy. So, we finally meet the Great Courier Six. I've been looking for you. You see, there is a town in dire need of help from... Someone like you. When you are ready, I'll guide you there. Wait, wh what now? Slow down a sec. Where are you even talking about? Far north of here is a wilderness that is widely ignored and unseen by the outside world. Atop a hill within the many trees of the surrounding forest lies a small, troubled little town. Darkwood Falls. And you want me to help? They could certainly use it. Oh, but I can't tell you everything now. That would certainly spoil the fun, would it not? Like I said, when you're ready, I'll take you there. I can't just go by myself? I'm afraid not. Getting there can be surprisingly difficult. And someone who doesn't know the path can get lost easily. No worries, however. I know the path like the back of my hand. Oh, and rest assured that you can always head straight back to the Mojave, if need be. Who even are you? I am someone who travels the world, day and night. Someone who sees what others do not. Someone who wants to do what is best for humanity. That is all you need to know. Oh good, another vague person. What's in it for me if I go to this place? I know there are valuable things to be found out there. Secrets, wealth. Also, the feeling of doing something good for others. If that is something that counts for you, Courier. Okay, I guess I'm ready to go. All right, then. Actually, one last thing I should mention. I'll drop you off at a nearby shack. Inside it is a shortcut back to the Mojave. It only goes one way, however. If you want to travel to Darkwood again, You'll need to find me once more at the Vicky and Vance. With that out of the way, let's head out. Okay. It's not very dark, but, uh, sure. Now, I know there's not a town called, I mean, not, that I know of, called Darkwood Falls. I'm assuming we're up in either Oregon or maybe Northern California somewhere. So here's our shack. I always like to try to determine where this is supposed to be. 
It kind of looked like a, it was supposed to be like a Washington State or Oregon from what I saw. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see what we got here. Okay. That, I like the uh, backdrop of the map. Let's go ahead and just follow our marker. And see what's going on. Also, let's put the uh, overcharged ammo in this guy. And, oh my god. Is it stun? Did this thing just stun that bear? Repulsive meat. <laughs> okay. Overcharging this guy, too. I wasn't expecting a bear right out of the gate, but okay. A waterfall going on. A warm welcome to Darkwood Falls. Interesting sign. Alright, well. Wow. It's a small little town, okay. Speak to the investigator. Not very lively, is it? Guess we'll find out why, huh? Nick Valentine, is that you? Huh. I suppose you aren't one of the townspeople. What are you doing here, then? Out with it. A man in a strange suit convinced me to come here and help out. Yeah, it would seem he unfortunately convinced me to come here as well. I would normally shun an unsightly individual like him outright, yeah. Never mind that, he told you to find me. He thinks a lowly courier like you can help. What exactly is so great about you? Because I don't see a thing. Uh, we both know that investigating Solo can lead to dead ends. Yeah, that can certainly happen in murky cases such as this one. So, you'll accept my help? Yes, yes, fine. I suppose I could suffer your presence for a while. I suppose now is the time where I tell you what I've found so far. Unfortunately, it isn't much as the townspeople haven't exactly been open to discussion. And I thought I was a charmer. What exactly has happened here? Two residents of the town have gone missing. The first was Molly Hughes, the mayor's daughter. Then not too long after was Leland Price, husband of Sarah Price. Both disappearances happened roughly a week before that strange man brought us here. Annoyingly, this meant that there was a distinct lack of physical evidence to be found. The culprit could have easily covered their tracks. Unfortunately, this means we are going to have to rely on the word of these backwater townspeople. And that's where you come in. As they've already decided they don't like me, you need to be the talker. Can't imagine why they don't like you. Okay, where do we start? It's not going to be easy. There's no physical evidence, and it seems as though most of the townspeople don't know what happened. The only one who might have any real insight would be Mackley, the town sheriff. Talk to him. See if he has anything useful. Well? Stop standing there and get moving. You have your orders. Your thing, Morris. Get right on that. Sheriff's in the watchtower, eh? Nice mustache. Oh, hello, stranger. You're with Morris, correct? I hope I can do enough to assist you. But to be honest, lately, I've been questioning my own abilities. I mean, how could this all happen? I'm supposed to be the person who keeps this town safe, and yet... I can't help but to feel as though I failed them. Rude. Uh, don't beat yourself up over it. You couldn't have known that this would happen. Yeah, I guess so. I suppose the circumstances are just too damn strange. 
I just hope that they can still be saved. What's life like in Darkwood Falls? I'm probably not the right person to answer that. For myself, life is just, well, tiring. The responsibility of protecting others can wear away at you. It can make you forget the things that are good. Sorry if that wasn't what you wanted to hear. But that's life for me right now. What can you tell me about the Darkwood region? Darkwood can be pretty to look at in some places, but also plenty dangerous at times. That's why folks tend to stay here in town. We have everything we need, and for the most part, we don't get bothered by the outside world. Were you able to infer anything about the disappearances? Yes. There isn't much in the way of information to work with, but I've been thinking about it. The disappearances happened on two consecutive nights. First, Molly. Then, Leland. There was no evidence of any sort of struggle in either case nor was there any sound reported in either night. That left me with two possible conclusions as to what happened. However, to make sure we're both thinking on the same lines, I'll ask you, what do you think happened? It's not a whole lot to go on there. Maybe they just left without telling anyone? Yes, I thought of that. So I asked those who were close to them if they had any motive for doing so. Molly's mother, Claudia, our mayor, said that Molly was in a normal, healthy state of mind and had no apparent desire to go anywhere outside of town. Leland's wife, Sarah, said that Leland also had no known motive to leave town. Based on this, it seems as though either of them leaving on their own volition is unlikely. Now perhaps them being kidnapped or murdered is more likely then? Yes, it seems like the much stronger possibility. It's the only thing that would make sense to me for the moment. At the same time, I also can't lead myself to believe that someone in town did this. And yet, the world outside of our town barely even recognizes our existence, so who else could it be? Well, at the very least, it's a line of thought to follow. I just wish I could do more. Well, it was obviously aliens. Come on, uh, it's alright. You can leave it to us. Thank you, stranger. Good luck. Okay, well... Get a lot out of him, but, uh... Guess we'll report it to him. What do you have for me? He's a fool to think that is the most possible cause. I think what is actually more likely is that these two left town willingly. This is certainly getting more complicated than I thought. It looks like we're going to have to learn more about this town to understand what truly happened here. Go talk to the mayor, see what she can fill you in on, then report back. Guess we'll go talk to the mayor. Knock, knock. Anyone here? There you are. Ah, a new face. I assume you're with the investigator. I guess you could say that. I'm here to help. That's good to hear. 
We certainly need all the help we can get right now. I'm Claudia, the town's mayor. Pleased to meet you. What can you tell me about this town and its people? Such an open-ended question. Where would I begin? Overall, we are a quiet, isolated people. We tend to be more reserved in our dealings with outsiders. We also try to maintain the traditions and rules that have always been followed since the town's pre-war founding. Oh no, I can see where this is going. Historically, Darkwood Falls has always been a religious town, but fervor has certainly died out in recent years. Can you tell me more about the town's religion? It is not our way to divulge that in detail to outsiders. Massive red flags. And besides, I personally don't see how any of this will help you find Leland, or my daughter. Now, if you could, please leave me. I'd like to be alone for a while. I wasn't done talking with you. Your presence only serves as a painful reminder. Well, you were absolutely un helpful. Um, I was gonna ask you other things. Did you hit the whiskey before I came over here, or are you drunk on the blood of whatever you sacrificed before I arrived in your home? If the mayor is anything to go by, the people in this town are gonna be weird, I think. At least the mayor's weird. I guess it's too early to judge. We've only talked to the old sheriff and to her, but... How many times am I gonna keep going back and forth with you? What do you have for me? Yeah, wait a minute, are you from the Mojave as well? Are you trying to make small talk with me? Disgusting. And no, I have nothing to do with that heat-blasted Dennis Sin. Right, why are you so f***ing rude all the time? Just listen to yourself. <laughs> How pathetic. The reason I am so rude, as you put it, is because you are below me and can never hope to be my superior. That is all. Right, okay. Uh, let, this is what she said. Yes, it would definitely seem that the old hag is hiding things, but does that truly pertain to the matter at hand? Regardless, I have already learned most of what she told you. Sorry, Aaron Runner. I guess I wasted some of your precious time. In any case, all it really means is that we'll have to rely on someone else for information. I want you to talk to Suave next. He seems to be the only well-educated one here. Try to get him to talk about what the mayor avoided. In particular, anything related to this town's history or religious beliefs would be useful. Go, and don't come back until you learn something worthwhile. I will. Anyways, I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping he would die there, and I just have to reload the game. Can't have that. Ah, a newcomer. I hope you didn't have too much trouble getting here. The woods can be a bit, well, a bit unwelcoming sometimes. Well, let me know if you need anything. Think fuck a normal person. Um, yeah, sure, let's trade. Sure we'll thing. First, we'll buy something from you. Uh, what could I buy from you? Holy shit, a plasma caster. I don't really need anything, do I? I want some ammo or some weapon repair kits. Okay, some repair kits. Um, what can you tell me about yourself? Hmm? Me? Well, I can't say I'm all that interesting. These days, I mostly just hide away in the shop and read my books. Books from the pre-war era are very important to me. I've always felt that people should make a better effort to preserve them. And yet, I grow older every day. I feel as though 
But every day that passes, the writings of our pre-war ancestors are gradually fading away. I guess, I guess I just can't accept the death of the old world. A world that I, I never got to experience. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to go off on a tangent. But uh, I hope that answered your question. You uh, get many customers out here? Well, besides the other townspeople, we do get occasional visits from merchants who help keep me stocked. The last notable customer I had was when a group from the Brotherhood of Steel arrived, mainly just asking for directions. That had been the first I had seen of them, <laughs> which I know sounds crazy considering my age. Well anyway, I think you get what I was leading to. We aren't exactly a, a bustling tourist destination. Can you give me a rundown on this town's history? If you think it will be useful, then sure. I'll try to sum it up for you. Our town is very old. Old even by pre-war standards. Much of what it was in its pre-war days has still survived. This town was heavily steeped in tradition, with a strong emphasis on secrecy and seclusion. Oh no. Historically, Past residents were known for lashing out at anyone who would threaten their way of life. One major example was when the steel magnate Richard Bronson was fought by the town when trying to expand into the Darkwood region. The townspeople vehemently opposed it, claiming that it was encroaching upon areas considered to be sacred. Once a steel mill was finally built, its workers faced a constant barrage of harassment and threats. This kept escalating until one day several of the mill's workers died of unknown causes. Shortly after, Bronson silently shut the place down. The town eventually developed a fear-inspiring reputation and became a place that outsiders avoided. But keep in mind, that is all just history now. Weren't these traditions and behaviors tied into the town's religion? So, you heard about that. Yes, Darkwood Falls has always been a religious town, but not for any religion you might be aware of. More red flags. You see, there are unique places in this region. Places that emanate a strange energy and an otherworldly violet glow. A uh, what? Our ancestors worshipped those places and felt as though there was some kind of special knowledge within them just ready to be deciphered. Much of the town's traditions were formed around that worship. Um, would you happen to know where any of these places are? You might want to try asking Sarah about that. She always been the more religious type than me. You've been very helpful, thanks. No problem at all. Best of luck to you. I hope you can find Molly and Layla. Okay. Anyways. Sure, let's go talk to Sarah. Yeah, this is... <laughs> I can kind of see where this is going, but maybe it'll surprise me. Got some ancient alien crap going on out here or something like that. Probably not the case, but we'll see. That is a nice door. Oh. You're with the investigator, right? I'm worried near to death for my husband. I hope that you could still save him. Is there anything useful you can tell me about your husband? As in... Something that could help you find him? Needless to say, I would have told you if I knew even the slightest hint. But tragically, I don't. My poor husband, who would never even think to torture me in this way, vanished. Would you happen to know of any sacred locations in Darkwood? Oh, so you have been doing your research. I do happen to know of one. 
I've actually visited this place before, as a girl. Back when our town's religion was still relevant. In the northwest, you'll find a large deadfall. If you climb over it, you'll find what you're looking for. Do you think my husband could be there? Well, if so, I guess I shouldn't waste your time any longer. Please, find him. Guessing we're not going to find him there, but... Deadfall to the northwest. Sure thing. Why is my map to the south-southwest then? For my marker. Hold on. What we got going on here? Oh. Gotta talk to Morris, that's why. Oh, lucky me. What do you have for me? Uh, here's what I found out. With a history like that, I can definitely see how the disappearances could have a religious connection. So by all means, go to this place. You'll have to go alone, however. I need to stay here and keep an eye on everyone. Before you head out, make sure you're armed. It sure wouldn't help things if you went and died on us. I think you know that I'm armed. Would you like to have another- Damn it, I was really hoping he would die this time. I got excited when he got hostile there. Okay, anyways. What the rifle. Now it's getting dark. Kind of surprised they didn't use a, um... A custom, um... And a weather system in this mod. It's just the vanilla Mojave Wasteland weather. I can't even run Nevada skies here. But I would have used uh, something ominous. Maybe that would have been a little too on the nose with Darkwood Falls, but... Bears. Wow, that was quite the critical. Oh, my ears. I love the uh, green laser on this one, as opposed to the normal red laser of typical laser rifles. There we go, that's much more dark wood fallsy. There's bears everywhere, man. Lot. This one's also got a green laser, forgot. Yeah, this is a weird Gatling laser. It's one I've haven't used much before. It's kinda cool. It's very cool looking. Got a kick to it. Okay, here we are, the deadfall. Been over the deadfall, huh? Some fence posts down there, part of a fence. Why? I'm about to get knocked out or something, aren't I? Something doesn't feel right about this. Is that another bear? No. What in the... Um... A stranger has appeared before me. Um, Leland? Leland. I think I knew that man. Wait, did I? Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. No. Nothing matters at all. Um... 
I have been somewhere else. I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw. The end. The end of us all. The lights fading from the eyes of humanity. Oh boy, we got one. Blood Red Knight awaits us. A world drenched in sorrow and despair. Forget Darkwood. Forget everything. The Red Knight looms. Ready. We have all failed. We have all failed. I don't know what the hell is happening, but you need to snap out of this. Snap out of what? Reality? This one? Which one? Too many of them, if you ask me. No, Leland, this truly is reality. Your wife desperately wants you home. Remember her? Sarah? Sarah? Oh. Oh, God. Are you back? Can you tell me what happened? I don't know exactly. All I can remember was that a voice in the night told me to come here. I couldn't disobey. This voice kept talking to me, kept filling my mind with awful thoughts. I don't know why, but it hurts. It's hurting me. You didn't see this person? Do you know what their voice was like? I'm sorry, whoever you are. But I get the feeling that I won't be living too much longer. Um, what? My memories have been returning. And now I know that I am not meant to leave this place alive. I can feel it too. My life. Being drained away. You can't be serious. Let's just head back right now. It's kind of you to be concerned, but I'm afraid there is no coming back for me. Who did this to you? Can you remember now? I apologize, but I can't. All I can remember is a voice. A gentle voice. It whispered the command, and I obeyed. Truly. I am sorry. Tell Sarah that I was so fortunate to have had such a lovely wife. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. Well. Should we get closer to it? Let me save. Is this gonna kill me? I'm just curious. No. Okay then, well, let's go back to town. And... Yeah. Have you gotten any closer to finding my husband? I've... I found Leland. But... He isn't with you. I... Oh god. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I tried to prepare myself for this, but I still can't believe it. What happened? What happened to my husband? Some kooky ghost shit. I found him in a manic state. He died in front of me, seemingly of cardiac arrest. What? And you didn't try to save him? You- I'm sorry. I'm sure you would have saved him if you could. So, he was in a manic state. Did he say anything to you? Uh, yeah, he said some things. Oh, my poor Leland. You have to find out who was behind this. He didn't deserve any of this. But I thank you for finding him. At least now can have some peace in knowing what happened. I promise I'll do everything I can to uh, avenge him is not really the right word, but figure out what the hell's going on. Thank you, and good luck.
didn't know him well enough to avenge him, but... Whoa. Random music spike there from... I don't know what. Okay, let's go tell our useless bag partner here what happened. What do you have for me? Oh, let me tell you about what happened. Did you just make that up? No, I guess you couldn't. You probably aren't creative enough to make up something like that. <sighs> well, that's disappointing. I was hoping we could save some lives here. Well, I'll suppose I update you on my end. I was able to learn of an additional sacred location. Thing is, the mayor has the place locked up, and she's the only one with the key. Needless to say, that raises some suspicion now that there's a connection between these places and the victims. If you can get that key from her and find significant enough evidence inside that cavern, then it would be damning. Of course, you'll need to maintain the appearance of ignorance when asking for the key. Most likely, she'll give it to you and have some form of ambush ready, so be prepared. As usual, I need to stay here to keep an eye on everyone. Good luck. You mean stay here and be useless? Hey, at least you did one thing. That's something. I don't know if Mrs. Drunk on the Blood of the Lamb over here is going to be very helpful. <laughs> wakey, wakey, it's midnight. Hello again. Need anything? What's life like in Darkwood Falls? I thought I'd just wake you up at whatever time in the middle of the night it is and ask for some lore. Peaceful. And quiet. Far from the types of dangers that one would encounter in most other parts of our irradiated world. This town is also the perfect place for self-reflection. Breathing the fresh, crisp air and looking out upon the trees does much for the soul. It makes me proud that I can be the mayor of something so beautiful. Does the town get many visitors? Rarely. We get occasional visits from merchants and less frequent envoys from wasteland factions that you likely know better than I. Usually, whenever those factions show up here, it's always for some form of selfish gain, though they never say it outright. It's always been a pleasure of mine to send them away. Nice and discouraged, having to report to their leaders that they failed. You have the key to the ancient cavern, correct? Oh, so you have learned of that place? Now what would you think is in there? Well, I suppose it isn't my concern. I wonder. Why should I bother giving it to you? I just noticed you have an NCR tag on your, uh, on your suit there. Your daughter is still out there. Wouldn't you agree that this isn't the time to play games? How boring. All I wanted to know was the reason why. Fine. Here's the key. Yeah, lady, you're fucking boring, but thank you. No worries. Enjoy your visit to the cavern. Sure I will. Let me just get out my heavy weapon before I go in there. What am I- No. Well, here's our culprit. Here's why this town is so wacko. These mushrooms. Obvious. Oh. Oh, just Night Stalkers. Okay, that wasn't, uh... Oh, this thing does stun them. That's pretty cool. 
I'm not sure I've used this thing much before. I don't even remember where you get the compliance regulator. Quite a while back, I went around collecting all the unique items I could find that I missed during the campaign. Or during the, the main playthrough, and uh, I kind of forgot where I got some of them. Oh, let's do another hard save, shall we? Now this one, this weapon, I'm, I'm pretty sure is the one I got in uh, Vault 22. I see some ghouls. this oh lovely oh Not sure what this stuff was doing out here but okay why is your holy site surrounded by ghouls is this like a vault Custom music. Nice. Soundtrack sounds like I'm starting the beginning of a Steve 1989 video. What? A study on the glow. There are several locations in the region of Darkwood that astound and defy logical explanation. They are the areas of the violet glow. Oh, that glow. When one walks amongst the glow, they are instilled with a sense of profound importance and a connection with worlds outside of our own. It is believed that, long ago, the residents of Darkwood Falls built their religion as a means of understanding of the glow. Whether or not they achieved their desired enlightenment remains a well-guarded secret. Right. I don't feel profoundly important or anything, but here I am. Ah. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I appreciate the custom music, but damn was that loud. Can we go back to normal? Meaningless. Uh, dead person in the corner. Look upon all that I've done. By the end, while I have saved anyone, I used to feel nothing. Now my feelings have returned and they are nothing but despair. The only thing I can do now is wait for the end. Why are there dead people in raider cages, animal kennel, kennels, chainsaws, and duct tape? Yeah, okay. Cattle prod, knives, bone saws, knives. I know where this is going. We all knew where this was going. Yeah. Should I even enter this room? I'm about to get knocked out or something, right? Any minute now, someone's gonna bonk me over the head or something and I'm gonna get captured. If I don't, I'll be real, real surprised. Maybe through this door. It really? Well, if that doesn't happen, that would be a refreshing change of pace from what I usually expect from things like this. What do you have for me? 
I found Molly dead in the ancient cavern. Yes, I figured that's what you would find. And now we can absolutely be certain that the mirror is behind it. I don't know if you noticed when you came back, but the bitch managed to elude me somehow. It's not like I went and checked Keep on her. Conscience, I suppose. We're going to have to figure out where she's hiding. Before, I swiped something from her house that might just help. A key labeled St. Anthony. I can only assume that this is referring to the name of the nearby church. It could very well be where she's hiding. God only knows what that place has in store for us. Prepare yourself, then let me know when you're ready to head out. Well, okay. I guess I'm Got ready. Everything you need. Yeah, uh, let's, let's go. All right, then. Steal yourself. We could very well be meeting our demise soon enough. I mean, maybe. All right, let's go. Time to make yourself useful. All right, just in case something goes sideways. What a quaint little church. All right. I'm not going to set these off, but my stupid partner is going to. Oop. We just set that off. Why not? You're welcome. That underground tunnels. Fantastic. Why? Okay. All the ammo and stuff. Oh, holy ENB, Batman. Uh huh. Lots and lots of ghouls. Gotcha. Wood altar. Hooray. Well, look at you. Made it here all in one piece. You are the one behind all this. Yes. I am the monster that you have both been looking for. But it is not truly me you are after. The true culprit is something you can never hope to capture. What... what do you mean? You've seen it before. The glowing violent that has left its mark on this region. That glow... is a means of communicating with beings not of our world. These beings... demand things. Awful things. I have tortured and killed many so they can feed on the suffering. After so long, it has become tiring. Many times I had thought of suicide, but they wouldn't let me do it. And my daughter. It is a tradition, you see, in my family for the mayoral successors of Darkwood Falls to become servants of the glow. I had to end it. I had to end the misfortune. You killed your own daughter. Yes. I know that I'm no longer fit to be called human. It took 
an immense effort to defy the will of the glow and far more to. Molly. Sorry, hold on. Can't hear you over the electronic music. Oh no, it doesn't affect it. And yet, Leland, that fool, found out what I had done. He had to be sent away. Now, I am too afraid to defy the glow any longer. So, brave courier, I have to apologize. But all I can do is follow their will. To my very grave. I hope, in time, that you can forgive me. That was really awkwardly placed music. I just gotta say that. Really? Gauss rifle. Oh no, it's gonna keep going. Let's get out of here. What do you have for me? What the f hell do you mean? What do I have for you? Are you fing blind? That was something else. Agreed. I think I'm gonna need a drink after that. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but good work, Courier. I'll go ahead of you and inform the town of what happened here. It won't be an easy pill for them to swallow, but it's the truth. Check in with me when you get back. Okay. Well, um... <laughs> final boss, Claudia. I guess the two, uh... Death Claws were something else. So what about all these other map markers? Did I get through the main story too fast, or is it not over yet? I mean, we got a bunch of other map markers we gotta check out still. Either there's more to this, or there's some side quests, or it's just random places to explore. I did not expect the main plot to, uh, progress that quickly. Maybe it, uh, isn't done though, of course. Who the hell are you? What? I don't have anything to do with what happened, so just leave me alone. Uh, why the hostility? You wouldn't understand. Now that people have gone missing, nobody seems to care about anything else. Did something happen? If so, can I help? It's my dog, Rocky. I think there's something wrong with him. Like he's sick or something. He doesn't want to play anymore. And he doesn't have any appetite. I'm honestly really scared for him. I actually happen to have medical experience. If you want, I can take a look at him. You do? Well, then yeah, I'd appreciate it. Okay, so a little side adventure before we go talk to Morris again, I guess. I should probably... Yeah, I should probably do anything else right now. I'm going to feel really bad if I can't do anything for this dog. Uh, showing no immediate signs of illness or other health conditions. Woof. His change in behavior is simply from old age, yeah. Do you know what's wrong with him? He seems to be in okay health, but he's grown old. Damn. That's basically what I was thinking. I just couldn't accept it. I wanted to believe that I could give him something, some kind of medicine, and he would come back. Happy and playful like before. God, I'm starting to hate this town. The others are crazy for liking it here. It just gets lonelier with each passing day. Rocky's been the only thing keeping me sane around here. But now... Honestly, Rocky dying will be the final straw for me. I'll be getting the hell out of this place. 
I don't even care if it's dangerous. I'd rather live that life than being cooped up here. Uh, if you feel confident about that, then yeah, go for it. Yeah. And you know what? I do feel confident about it. Maybe I can make a future for myself that isn't as bleak as this godforsaken place. Anyway, thank you for stopping to help. It always feels bad to have my problems be considered last. It's kind of how it's been my whole life. So for once, somebody paying attention and actually giving a damn means a lot. So really, thank you. Uh, yeah, glad to help. Hey, wait. I feel like you should still get something for your time. Here, take this. I tried reading it to find something to help Rocky, but it didn't really go anywhere. Maybe you'll find it more useful. Thanks again, stranger. Uh-huh. Alright. Okay. Well, one random side quest. Um, let me go back and talk to Suave over here. Let me know if you need anything. Need, uh, help with anything? Hmm. Well, it's maybe not too important, but I can think of one thing. If you happen to find any noteworthy books in good condition, oh. then I'll be happy to pay you for them. I think I found a book you might be interested in. Well, let's see it then. Did I? No, oh, never mind. Uh, I think he means pre-war books, but okay. Till next time. Oh. Okay, so it's an actual quest. Got you. Three unique books across the Darkwood region. Where the hell am I going to find those? The other map markers, I guess. Alright, so I decided to go look and uh, see on the Nexus page if there was some stuff that I was going to potentially miss, and yes, there is. So before we continue on with the main story, uh, we're going to do some side stuff. Oh, there's people here. Or one person here. The lone farmer, huh? Oh, hey, it's you. Need anything? Hey, it's me. Uh, why don't you tell me what's life like in Darkwood Falls? Peaceful, for the most part, especially compared to the state of the world outside. While this town might not seem like much, there's something special about it. You know, sometimes at night, I like to walk over to the town's edge and look out upon the forests. Something about the trees, the ice cold air. Something about it means a lot to me. Well, anyway, never mind. I don't really know what I'm saying. I guess I'm not the best tour guide. Place seems a bit boring. What do you do to pass the time around here? Uh, first off, rude. But really, I guess not too much, so you got us there. Me personally, I just enjoy my time outside, working on the crops. But hey, an idea just popped into my head. If you want to be, um not bored. A quiz to see how much you know about our town and the Darkwood region. I could also scramble up a prize if you get them all right. How does that sound? A quiz, huh? Uh, sh sh sure. Alrighty. So, let's see. I think five questions is good for a quiz. Let's start off easy. What does Suave like more than anything else? Books. Hey, you got a super easy one. Good job, I guess? Okay, next question. Another easy one. Who's the sheriff of our town? Mackley. Ding ding! Yep, my dad's the sheriff. That was the last easy one, I swear. You're doing good so far. Next question. Lacey has a pet. What's their name and what kind of pet are they? Dog named Rocky. Big name Peppa. <laughs> hey, alright. You've really been learning your stuff. Now for a tougher one. What's the name of the big factory to the northeast? Well, I kind of cheated because I have the map markers open. Bronze and Steelworks? Nice! You've almost got them all. Last question. This one will get you. Who lives in a small shack north of town? Oh, I just saw the name. Um, Isn't it the Wise Hermit? I, I want to open my pit boy so bad. I saw the mount marker. 
Wow, looks like you've been doing your exploring as well. No, I haven't. <laughs> well, looks like you beat my quiz. Here's your prize. Uh, thanks. I know, it looks kind of silly, so you don't actually have to wear it if you don't want to. Uh, yeah, no worries, thanks. Yeah, I had fun too. Well, anyway, I've probably got to get back to my work now. See you later. Okay, that was just pure luck, because I it was called the Sleepy Shack, not the Hermit's Shack. I don't know why that popped into my head. <laughs> okay, well, I got real lucky there. Anyways. Alright, let's go out of town and start looking around a little bit. Seems like these people don't quite realize what's happened yet or something. Got a power plant over here. Heading towards these map markers. Or kind of a power plant, I guess. Is there no map marker for this? Oh. Oh no, not a... Oh, it's a nice stalker. I thought it was a mole rat. This thing is great how it knocks him over. Kind of cheating. Oh, here's my first memory crash. What do you know? Okay, what do we got? Dark wood utility. Oh. Someone here. Are you hostile? What the f- Hey. Brotherhood Scribe, what are you doing here? Any particular reason you're bothering me? Any particular reason you're doing fucking laps in here? What's a scribe doing way out here? Not a scribe, not yet anyway. Just a journeyman told by my senior to check this place out. I mean- Despite its ordinary and quaint appearance, this place runs with incredible efficiency. If only I could figure out why, and perhaps if I could reroute its power, hmm. You know the townspeople use the power from here, right? Oh, that little town up on the hill? How kind of you to be concerned for them. I'm beginning to doubt that it can be rerouted anyway. Well, maybe I can figure it out if I think about it long enough. What would it take to make you, you know, not do that? I don't know. I feel like if I got a better understanding of what makes this place tick, then it would be satisfactory to leave with that knowledge in tow. I'm sure there's something around here that can tell me the secret. Find it, and I promise that at the very least, it won't be me personally who reroutes this place's power. Yes, off with you. All right. What exactly are we doing? Search the premises of Darkwood Utility to find information about a source of power. Okay. Surely it's not in here, right? We'll check in here if I can't find anything out here. Oh. Secrets of the Violet Crystals. Is this seriously what I was after? What is this? Or is this just random lore? You can't tell me that was seriously what I was after. Right here? Right around the corner? It hasn't updated my quest, so maybe not. I don't know what that was. I mean, there's nothing really else around here. Unless it's out in the... Let's check out here. I don't see anything. I just looked everywhere out here. That was the only item I found. Oh, it's you again. What now? Okay, I found these documents. Any good? Hmm, let me take a look. I... Huh. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. I I'm not even sure this could be believed. But, well, you helped out, so I'll honor your request. 
I'll go now. Those townspeople won't have to worry about us for a while. Goodbye. Okay. Simple enough. <laughs> Alright, well, let's carry on the direction we were going then. Wasn't expecting to pick up a quest in an unmarked location. So, we're heading towards Desecrated Mines, Overthrown Raid Camp, Temple of the Unhealing. That sounds ominous. Let's go towards that. Oh, it's a... It's a Legion camp. Is that a super mutant? Oh, yep. Goddamn heavy incinerators. Yeah, you don't get a lot of super mutants to shoot at in New Vegas. Kind of weird seeing them out here. Okay, well, we're already here, so I guess let's check these locations. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, kind of at the point where I guess I've been there for a while, where I'm kind of just taking random stuff because I've kind of taken all the main ones I wanted. So let's take, I don't know, chemist. Sure. Oh, yeah, there's the Legion out here, all right. What the hell was the Legion doing here? Nothing really out here to tell me what the Legion was doing here. Maybe they were in the mine? Random recharger pistol. I'll pick that up just because. Which reminds me, I haven't used my hyperbreeder yet this video. I really like this gun. I really want to do a, a playthrough of New Vegas with just a bunch of weird weapons. Things like this. Desecrated Mines. This sounds like a lot of fun. Holy hell. Okay. Okay, not the really the most effective thing for super mutant fighting. I'll oh, we'll have to use that somewhere else. Also, I need to repair this. Some old girl blues crystals going on in here. I need to remember to keep an eye out for books and stuff like that. No, you don't. Glad that I brought this gun with me. Not gonna worry about looting all the mutants. Lovely. Another one of these boxes. Hey, there we go. The road to Oxiana. Strange fungus, huh? That's gotta be one of the books, right? Okay, so here you go. If you're playing this in the desecrated mine, to the right path at the very end. Here. One of these things? Nothing else in here. It wasn't very big, to be honest. Now let's go check out this Temple of the Unhealing. I'm intrigued by the name. See a bunch of bears. Oh, it's just a... <laughs> just a shack, huh? Okay. What is with the music? It's so fucking loud! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, hold on. A History of the Crusades, another book. No, no, no! No, you don't! Okay, obvious creepypasta Ben Drowns Easter Egg. 
you don't know the story, uh, just go look it up. You'll find videos and things about it, the Zelda thing. Okay, that was an interesting, uh, <laughs> an interesting Easter egg, but there was a book in there. That's cool. Okay, I get the name now. I don't really know much about Zelda. I never played it, believe it or not. But, um, I have heard of the creepypasta thing. Nexpo made a really good video on that. How about you say we fight some bears with a proton axe in third person? I'm gonna get jacked up here. They're running away from me. Come on. Oh, no, I'm jacking them up. Nice. Love this thing. Anyways. What the hell? Quest added lurking below. You feel a terrible dread. Perhaps someone nearby knows what's happening. Just picked up a quest just from walking over here. Wilbur's camp. Well, hello there, Wilbur. Why, hello there, stranger. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. I'm not a raider or a fiend or whatever they're called these days. I'm just someone who enjoys traveling and seeing nature. Especially when there are healthy living trees around, unlike the wasteland that surrounds us. Enough about me, though. What brings you here, stranger? I'm here to help the town nearby. Ah, that's very noble of you, then. And actually, I wouldn't want to impose since you're already busy, but something has been worrying me. Maybe you could help me as well. What is it? You see... In that nearby cave, there's something awful, evil. I can just sense it. I'm afraid that it senses me as well, that it's stalking me. Then why don't you just get out of here? Maybe I'm paranoid, maybe not, but I feel like even if I leave, whatever is inside that cave will find me. Here, at the entrance I found a hidden spare key. Needless to say, I locked whatever was in there. Take it, and if you can find it in your heart, then please, search the place. Eliminate whatever might be in there and put my worries to rest. Ominous key. Sure thing. Don't do just that. Why is there... What a small lake. I noticed this on the way over here. Hat. Take that. Oh, hey, here you go. Well, I was actually a little bit worried about that, but thought they'd be more spread out, but they were all kind of down in this area of the map. Okay. Let's go in with our underpowered weapon into the cave of the undying, because this looks like a safe place to go. That is tortured servant. You know, I vastly overestimated how useful this gun was going to be, especially at this level. I mean, that did okay right there. I'm used to using this gun earlier in the game when things are weaker. So let's not use that. Do you have anything on you? Uh, unique armor. Guess I'll take that. Haunting revolver in here. Oh, and I've got some government ammo on me still from last time. I feel like that's a gun I don't really use very often because it's such a weird gun. Why would you put a scope on 4570 handgun, but... Mushrooms! See, we've entered mushroom land. Hello. Oh, fuck. It's one of these things. Oh, that was a hard hit. Ow, so was that. Okay, not as useful as I was hoping. Come on, give me a crit. There we go. Okay, on second thought.
Mm hmm. What the hell? The surface? Why do you have that a note on you? Sealed away for hundreds of years, forced to live in this empty existence. Long have we suffered without meaning, without blood to be shed. The command must be soon. We must be unleashed to inflict pain upon what the world once more. And that old frail weakling outside, he will be the first. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting to come in here and find like some like like something that was not a threat. I was not expecting to find actual hostiles for some reason. Okay, I've destroyed all the evil inside the cave, but what else is back here? Just radiation, of course. I I don't I don't okay. I don't really get it, but whatever. Why were they sealed down here? I guess maybe because the guy locked the door, but well, anyways. Evil destroyed. Did you find out what was in there? Yeah, you don't have to worry anymore. They're all dead. They I suppose it would be a good idea to not ask about the grisly details of it all. Well, thank you. I'm already starting to feel better. Here, I know these might not be much, but they are always useful when traveling out in the woods. Uh, yeah, thanks. Glad to have helped. You know, I think I might actually stick around now. These woods are really quite pleasant when there isn't an evil presence lurking in the background. <laughs> thanks again. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along. Don't worry about it. See it. I certainly will. Bye for now, stranger. Okay, where else have we not been? Darkwood Campground. I guess we can go over there. See some bears. Hit him? Yeah, I can hit him from here. Wow. All right. Someone really needs to make a mod that lowers the audio that happens in VATS. Because it's always disproportionately loud compared to everything else in the game, for the most part. It was the same way in Fallout 3. Maybe there is a mod like that. I guess I should look that up sometime. Now, this is more the environment I had in mind. I thought of Darkwood. I guess it's evening. Is that... Just a Jacobstown wall? Blocking the uh, edge of the map, it seems. Okay, we got a dead person. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Just a... Just a random location. Before we uh, go anywhere else, let's turn in this quest to Suave. Let me know if you need anything. I think I found a book you might be interested in. Well, let's see it then. Found a book titled The Double Helix. Well, let's see here. <clears throat> ah, <laughs> an autobiography about the discovery of the double helix structure in DNA. You know, I do love autobiographies. They really take you back to the experiences of people from pre-war era. Thanks for bringing this to me. Here, I think you'd find this payment to be substantial. That's pretty good for one book. Um, found another one. Well, let's see it then. A book titled The History, A History of the Crusades. Now there's something that can truly be called ancient history. And quite the bloodbath at that. Thanks for bringing this to me. Here. I think you'd find this payment to be substantial. And I got another one. A book titled The Road to Oxiana. Hmm. This looks like it will be a fantastic read. <laughs> I love anything that takes me back to the old world. You know. Thanks for bringing this to me. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. Tune. There we go. 
cool. So just those. Let's go up uh, north and check out these locations. I'm 100% sure I found everyone in town to talk to now, so... If there's anything else for me to do, it's gonna be at one of these three places. Right. The Sleepy Shack. world is this? Oh. You're the wise hermit, right. Claw face. Cool bear, bro. Sometimes, I'm not quite sure if I am real. It makes me sad. You know, I referenced you earlier and I didn't even know you were in here. Uh, what? Remember that at midnight, you should always watch out for antelopes. Will do. Gotta keep an eye on those antelopes. Never leave home without your brain. Or you know. In the Mojave Wasteland, it is said that there are many doors leading to bizarre and otherworldly places. I mean, not really. The forests of Darkwood can be awful mean sometimes. Be sure to save often. Oh, right, yeah. Will do. Have you been to the Atomic Wrangler? Fun, prizes, hot dogs, and cheesy bites all await you there. Cheesy bites? Eh? Some loudmouth has been shouting like crazy over at the lakeside cabin. I wonder what that's about. How much do you have I to feel say? feel as though there is someone similar to me somewhere. And that they are a liar. The forests of- Okay, he's back into- He's gone into a loop. Very, very, very wise, yes. Wise hermit. I guess that's all there is, just random- Nonsense from him. Go over here and check out this lake. Joanna's Lake. I see a light over here. They really like their small lakes up here. Small ponds, I guess I would call them. Oh. Just some benches. Oh, there's the... The shack. The wise hermit referenced. Hey, you. What's your fucking problem? You just walk into people's homes whenever you feel like it? Yeah, pretty much. I'm sorry. Actually, I was just screwing with you. This isn't my place. My real home isn't far from here. My steel mill. Unfortunately, though, a bunch of goddamn fucking raiders showed up and sent me running with my tail between my legs. I ended up having to shack up in here. I mean, it ain't too bad, but it also ain't mine. Bronson Steelworks is mine. It's my family's namesake. I have to take it back. I was thinking about how I could destroy those bastards. And then you show up. I think with the both of us, you can show them what happens when you fuck with Bronson Steelworks. What do you say? You wanna kick some raider ass? I'm always down to the event, fuck yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Let's go, like the fuck now. All right, let's fucking do it, mother. Okay, just clearing out a steel mill for the last location. So I'm. Uh, looks like after that we'll be done with the side quest, and I can go back and uh, see what else the main quest has in store for us. Knock knock. Come on, give it. Give it up. Oh, I was hoping that would do a little bit better. Like that. Oh, I'm getting messed up. Man, these guys hit hard. A bunch of raiders. Oh my. 
my god. That was a glorious fallout moment. Another fallout moment. That other one though, that guy just entered low earth orbit right there. Okay, you still with me, buddy? I don't know where you are, but... Okay. Guess we'll go into the smaller... I guess I was expecting a bigger complex, but you know. Maybe not. particular thing happens. Anyone hiding in the crapper? No. Alright. Clear. Anything on these computers I should look at? Over here. This guy. Damn. Okay. I think they were clear. Not a very big place, but now that was something else. Showed those fuckers good. Yeah. You have my thanks, stranger. And here, even though you didn't ask for it, a healthy stack of caps. Cool. I'm not going to even bother my pleasure. Yeah. Mowing down scumbags is one of life's greatest pleasures, isn't it? Thanks for helping out. Keep in mind, you're always welcome to stop by whenever you like. Not sure why I would, but cool. Okay, just double checking. I am indeed done with all the side stuff. So let's go back and see where we go from here. Fortunately, I think we're just basically going to end it here. Maybe I'll be surprised, though. If I was playing through this mod and I'd played it before and I was making a video, I definitely would have left that fight with uh, What's-Her-Face till the end. But maybe I'll get to kill Morris. Maybe you're the real enemy. What do you have for me? So the townspeople know what happened now. Yeah. Though they have a lot of conflicting emotions, they seem to appreciate the work we've done here. I've done. One last thing. You should talk to that girl, Jess. She said the townspeople prepared some sort of celebration for us. Such things seem worthless to me, however. I hope you can still enjoy it on your own. Bye for now, Courier. I suppose... <clears throat> It was good working with you. Don't make me regret the fact that I said that. Right, bye ass face. Jess, uh, maybe we ought to wait till daytime to go bother these people. What do you got, uh, trivia lady? Oh hey, it's you. Need anything? Um, I heard something about a celebration? Oh yes! We all prepared a fun place for you to unwind for a while. As a thanks for everything you've done. Okay. You wanna head over there now? Sure. Awesome. Have fun! Oh, it's done. Okay. This has gotta just be some, you know, fourth wall kind of fourth wall sort of thing here. Museum and arena. What's in the museum? So this is like a... This feels like a post-game thing. Okay, let's check it out. Making Darkwood Falls 1 out of 2. I was always scared before of making a proper quest mod, as I doubted my own abilities, but I dared myself and I found that it wasn't quite as rough as I thought it would be. I spent the early portion of 2020 developing the story for it. 
After I finished writing the story, I got to work on the world space. It was a very daunting at first, but I had some practice after making a small one for the simply uncut New Vegas. Oh, nice. While working on the world space, added main quests and play tested them. Play testing is crucial. Uh, once I was at a comfortable stage with the main content of the mod, started recruiting voice actors. A lot of incredible people turned out and made the process easy on him. Thanks to all the voice actors. Finished off the mod with a ton of nav meshing, playtesting, and additional sweeps over every interior exterior, uh-huh. Random 411. You did a very good job. I don't know if you're going to end up watching this video, sometimes mod makers do, but I really enjoyed it. Just a, it was a really, I guess I can kind of talk about my thoughts about the mod now, because this is kind of a meta after the fact thing. I really liked it. I mean, it was just solid. I don't know what else to say. I appreciate a lot when mods have good voice acting. Uh, and some of the audio levels were a little bit, kind of, they varied a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. That was just one small critique I had, but again, nothing that bad. This child drawing you're looking at actually happens to be an early concept map I made in glorious Microsoft Paint. Made it as a general guide for the world space, yeah. Midnight Haven and Glowing Marsh were early ideas that got reworked into other things. Good old MS Paint, <laughs> I love it. Uh, what am I looking at? The overall idea for this mod started as something different. It was a simple murder mystery with a world space that grew into a lot more. The exact location is never specified. I was right. It was placed somewhere in Oregon or Washington. Yeah. Uh, I, I have lived in Oregon and I grew up in Washington. Uh, and this, you know, Darkwood just sounded like a town that would be in one of those places. Johanna's Lake was originally going to contain a Sweeney Todd inspired quest. Before I thought of the idea for Jack Bronson. Darkwood Falls was completed over the course of six months. 300 lines of fully voiced dialogue. Yep. A whopping 30,000 plus nav meshing triangles. Yeah. I bet I bet that destroyed you. Yeah. I remember trying to do nav meshing when I used to make world spaces and I, I it just, yeah, it was bad. Anyways, random 411. I liked the mod a lot. Now let's go see what we got in the rest of this place. What's this terminal? Loading mysterious message. Congratulations! Thanks to your efforts, the townspeople are now safe and aware of the evil of the glow. While the glow continues to exist in Darkwood, it no longer maintains its corrupting influence over anyone. Or does it? Once you're done here, we explore... Yeah, okay. I'm coming back here by talking to Jess. Oh, I can always come back to this little thing by talking to Jess. I gotcha. Let's see what's the arena. Deathly Arena. Do oh, I need some... What do we got going on here? Ah. Just fighting through the bad guys. Good grief, die already. Stop being such a twitchy bastard. Hello there. Guess just a random combat arena, huh? Just to get some extra XP and shoot some extra stuff. See what's at the end of it, though. What the fuck? What is that? Did that just say the architect? Oh, arena architect. Okay. Oh, he's got some alien power cells. I'll take that. Alright. Have we reached the end? Super prize crate. The mad hat. Nice. We have defeated the arena, I see. I'm, I'm guessing that this is like repeatable or something like that. 
I appreciate the fact that uh, the author went to just add some fun stuff to do after the mod instead of just the typical send you back to the wasteland and it's over kind of thing. See you guys later. The door opens into the general store. Interesting. The Mad Hat. Cool. It's got a bunch of uh, stats on it, though. All right, well, uh, let's go back and to the Mojave and see if there's any follow-up, huh? What do we got here? Mystery Man's Terminal. Note for the courier. Anytime you need to go back. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And that's it. That does it for Darkwood Falls. Like I already said, I, I enjoyed the mod. I thought it was a solid mod. I kind of blasted through the main story faster than I would have liked. I should have gone and done some side stuff first. But like I said, I didn't expect it to advance that fast. But uh, overall, I had a lot of fun with that mod. It took me, uh, look, uh, it looks like it took me about 2 hours and 15 minutes to uh, do everything in it. So it wasn't one that was going to tie me up all day and... Uh, and uh, make me spend twice as long in the editing process, so I do appreciate that. You don't have to uh, artificially bloat out stories and stuff just for the sake of playtime. Ubisoft. Anyways, I have a uh, quite substantial list of more quest mods and stuff I would like to check out, so I don't know which one's next. We'll just, uh, we'll just have to see. But that's going to do it for now, so I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.